Okay, so I got my uh, Arduino Mark III system and a lightsaber. Uh, this is, again, all parts from the custom saber shop for the most part. Uh, this bottom section is made out of a, a piece of uh, PVC that I drilled holes in so I could put the screws. And uh, yeah, I painted it black. And then this uh, switch plate is a uh, custom. It's made out of some brass sink tube and uh, uh, some more PVC and uh, let's just fire it up and see how it goes. Alright, got my signature boot sound uh, when you power it up and uh, we got the little blinky LED. that next sound font because of course we got multiple sound fonts um, one of the innovations I added for this lightsaber was you'll notice there's no aux switch um, the only switches are uh, the kill switch and the uh, and the activation switch so to change sound fonts uh, I added a feature where you hold the activation switch and hit it and now it changes fonts just like that it's actually even faster than the old one because you hit it. So it's tricky. Um, you can't just hold it down and keep smashing it. You have to press and release each time. I did that so it would be a very deliberate thing and you wouldn't accidentally scroll through two fonts uh, by accident when you didn't mean to. So just hold it down. And this is low. This is, uh, this is actually a stump mode that I added in. It's a, basically a sound font with nothing but silence. See, it just turns on, so I thought this might be cool if uh, you're trying to show it to people where you don't want to try and talk over the hum. So there's the uh, stunt mode. It's been just on off. So if you decide you want sound again, hold in the button, hit it, and there you go. It's working pretty well. I've got this one set very, very sensitive. So let's uh, go into some of the configuration settings. Uh, another thing I did with this one is uh, the, this one's not wired for color change. It's just a single LED. So I uh, I added a, a one-channel uh, mode, which is uh, right now it's a software setting um, that's done at compile time. But uh, I may eventually make that a user configurable setting. So if we go into the menu system by holding the button for 10 seconds. So you can set the blade frequency just like you could on the uh, on the three-channel version. So that was just kind of a pulse. There's a little rapid pulsing. That's solid on. This is like a slow, slow strobing. I slowed this down a little bit versus my uh, my previous saber. This is just this is a random flicker. I, I kind of like this one the best, but we'll go. And we'll pick something radically different. And you're not gonna <laughs> notice that that's not there. So we'll save that. All right, you can pick fonts in the menu system if you want to, just like that. Save that. All right, so this is a new setting. Um, and you'll also notice that it skipped all of the color settings because this is uh, set up for one channel mode so changing colors doesn't make sense so uh, you can set the swing sensitivity while it's in the hilt without having to plug in anything or pull a chip or anything so you just experiment with it if that's too sensitive for you then hit the button it'll bump it up a little still pretty sensitive go up a little uh, see now, 
See, now it's just more, it's a little less sensitive. You really gotta be deliberate about it. Crack it way up. Now you can't even, now it's basically off because <laughs> the sensitivity is uh, set, uh, the tolerance is set so high that it doesn't do anything. So not to worry, um, there's only one button on this so you can't scroll backwards, but you can continue to scroll forward and it'll loop around. All right, so that's that lets you know that it's it's as high as it can go. If you push it again, it'll go back down to uh, to the lowest setting. So what this allows you to do is I'll bump it up a couple. That should be good. All right, that's it. So what that allows you to do is tune the sensitivity to your liking with it in the lightsaber, with a blade on it, uh, without any wires hanging off it. You can move it around freely, spin it however you, however you would normally do. And uh, that's that's basically it. So that's all the menu settings there are for this saber, because uh, all the color settings are skipped because it's set up for one channel. And so there's all your settings. Alright, thanks for watching.